Hello, and welcome back to Firefighting in Canada This Week. Today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. I'm Justin Belmore, and here's your top firefighting news for this week. The Nova Scotia Fire Marshal's Office released the cause of a fatal fire that killed four children in an effort to improve public communications and safety. After that, the touching story of the Toronto Professional Firefighters Association donating $1,000 to a couple who survived their house fire. And then, Firefighting in Canada columnist Tanya Betridge shares in an article why she thinks public education should be department-led. Fire Marshal Fred Jeffers recently publicized that the fast-moving fire that killed four children in Pubnico Head, Nova Scotia, was ignited by heat from a wood stove. In coverage by CBC News, he added that when it came to releasing information in the public interest, his office could do better. Earlier, CBC reported that a spokesperson for the provincial government confirmed the fire marshal's investigation was done, but she would not release its basic findings, citing privacy laws. David Fraser, a legal expert, advised CBC that the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act gives public bodies a lot of leeway when it comes to public interest information and protecting privacy. Toronto firefighters are helping out residents who were forced from their Kensington Market home after a house fire. The fire broke out on February 7th at a house on Bellevue Avenue, leaving residents Alicia Robbins, her husband Kevin Gebhardt, and two others temporarily homeless with around $100,000 in damages as reported by CBC News. The Toronto Professional Firefighters Association donated $1,000 to Robbins and Gebhardt Thursday evening to help them rebuild their lives. I'm speechless, overwhelmed, Robbins told the CBC. Firefighters from nearby stations arrived quickly and were able to get all the residents, including five people and a dog, out safely. Tanya Betridge is an administrative assistant and public educator for the Perth Fire Departments in Ontario. In the February edition of Firefighting in Canada, she shares strategies for how departments can and need to be the leaders of public education while respecting the role of corporate communications. She writes that having corporate communications run the department's public education is like waiting for the finance department to sign off on dispatch apparatus. It really doesn't work. Betridge recommends departments build their case for controlling public education on assuring full media training for fire staff and on the good reputations of their departments, which will carry influence with their messaging. She also notes that nobody knows how to better communicate with the community than the fire departments that protect them. This is Annex Business Media's Niche TV. Thanks again to VFAS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. Stay tuned for our next episode of Firefighting in Canada this week on Friday, March 9th. I'm Justin Belmore. We'll see you next time.